how long should we let this mattress air out? Uh, an hour, a few hours, or a few days? So I'm going to press this right up into the mattress so it draws air out of the mattress. And outside is normally around 100 or so. And here we see numbers at about 3,400. So what I want to do is check back periodically and see how the numbers look. Uh, so right now it looked like it topped out around 4,400. Uh, so let's see, in an hour, in a day, uh, if these numbers change much at all. So we're almost exactly one hour after I opened it up and took my first measurement. And let's see where we're at. It's just sticking this in and drawing some air right from the mattress itself. So after one hour, we're at about uh, 23, 24, 25. Um, so considerably less than what it was before, but um, still higher than I want to uh, have in my house. So I'm gonna test it again, and uh, we'll just kind of see where these numbers go. Here we are two hours after having opened it up, and let's see what our numbers look like. Drawing air, again, directly from the mattress. So two hours later, we are at about 1,300. So two hours after opening it up, see quite a bit of a drop. Uh, it's getting better, certainly. Still a little bit higher than we would normally see uh, inside a normal home. Here we are about 14 to 15 hours after I originally opened this up. And let's poke this in here. And let's see where we're at. So I left this overnight. It's been a long time. And now we're at about 500. 500 is a value used by the U.S. Green Building Council for some of their uh, building certification or rating programs. And a number that a lot of people use as an acceptable level. It's not a government guideline, but yet it's one that's often referenced. So uh, here about, again, about almost 15 hours after this was opened up, we're down close to that level of 500. Looks like it's topping out in the low uh, 600s here. So definitely a lot better having left it out overnight to air out.